Welcome back to Loyal TV. Come with us to a flourishing community nestled among the foliage of the Ozark Mountains. It's picturesque Tahlequah, Oklahoma, where crowds traditionally gather to cultivate and celebrate a legend seated long ago. One that would blossom in the imaginations of young readers across the nation and the world. Because Tahlequah is, of course, where the beautiful red ferns grow. First travel back to 1963, where a man is standing in front of a bustling crowd at the University of Utah. This is the second Intermountain Conference on Children's Literature, and the man, Wilson Rawls, is attempting to harvest support for a book he recently penned. His novel, Where the Red Fern Grows, took inspiration from Rawls' own childhood memories. I've never been back to the Ozarks. All I have left are my dreams and memories. When he wasn't exploring the majestic lands of the Ozarks or on a hunt with his hound dog, but if God is willing, someday Wilson like was back. always busy writing. Eventually, it resulted in the treasured exploits of 10-year-old Billy and his two prized red-boned coon hounds, Old Dan and Little Ann, who I run among the red ferns. I'd like to walk again on trails I walked in my boyhood days. Wilson came by his art honestly having been taught the revered tradition of storytelling while growing up on his Cherokee grandmother's allotment. These lands held tales passed on through generations, starting with the establishment of Tahlequah. After the Trail of Tears, Tahlequah was chosen as the capital of the Cherokee Nation, and this extraordinary land began to sprout lore all its own. One winter, two children wandered into the woods and soon their idyllic walk along the frosted flora turned unexpectedly frightening. A blizzard blinds them, but hand in hand, they fought to return home. Unfortunately, it was spring before their tiny bodies were found, still clasping hands. And between the two lifeless cherubs, a red fern has sprung from the ground. Only the hand of an angel could seed such a beautiful tribute, causing many to say the land must truly be sacred. When Wilson incorporated the tale into his book, he used it to suggest that everything happens according to God's plan. And after sharing his book at that Utah conference, it went on to sell over six million copies and become part of U.S. curriculum. In 1974, it also became a beloved movie, which was filmed near Tahlequah, Vianne, and West Siloam Springs, Oklahoma. Tahlequah also continues to share its storied history most notably during the annual Red Fern Festival. This event typically sprawls out over several blocks, drawing vendors, gourmet food trucks, and exciting activities for all ages, bringing so many people together where those red ferns still sprout, and uniting us in memories of old friends and the thrill of new tales as crystallized in the unforgettable words of Wilson Rawls. You were worth it, old friend, and a thousand times over. Join us next week for more of the best Oklahoma stories you've never heard here on Loyal TV.